whoever's in charge and take them out. Those jaws look like they crush metal and die the brick. What got into me? Just so you know, I'm asking for another tip. You're the worst. The Kinoks are good for fighting and hauling thousands. to get my hands on a Thunderjaw's dislodge. You! Alarm!
soldiers. We should get these back to Duke. We've got a leader who this should have been in this place. But we can always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done. Okay, better. You're in for it now. <laughs> this outpost won't be causing any more trouble. Prepared.
right in.
coordinates that Gaia gave me for Demeter are close. Image of the old world. The building in front of the cliffs has the Pharaoh logo on it. I can catch my breath here. Based on the angle of the building, maybe the image was taken somewhere along the coast? At the top of those cliffs have a good view of the Pharaoh building. <laughs> the 
This doesn't look right. Better try another spot. close. Did it?
bodies are to box. Someone managed to take out an entire squad. It's in that ruin. I better keep my guard up. Oh, damn. Oh. Hold your fire! I'm not here to fight! The barbarian's pinned down. Move in! Okay, whoever these people are, it looks like we're not gonna be friends. I need to get past these hostels and into the ruins. So, we do this again. For the ancestor! Who are these people? And why are they out for blood? I better get to Demeter fast in case there's more of them. According to Gaia, it should be somewhere in these ruins. like some sort of old office complex. Flower. Demeter should be right beyond that door. But those vines are blocking the way. Unless I can cut through them, I'm gonna need to find another way.
no way out. Great. At least there's a console. U.S. Robot Command. Time's running out. I didn't have the heart to tell Harris that our cure might be worse than the disease. Even if adamantine wreath works, we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently. But Cobble's team is working on it over at Test Station Ivy. He'll come through. He has to. Adamantine Wraith. Another secret project. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so... Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy... How do I get out of here? They want me dead. I better be careful. Okay. I could take those soldiers out quietly. There's a barbarian in the compound. She got past the lookouts. Find her, kill her, and bring her head to the lieutenant. Understood. Hey! Oh no! Protect the site! Kill her! She's dangerous! I'm on target! Take her up, now! Are you hiding in that grass? Not one more step, barbarian! <laughs> I really wish these people would have talked to me instead of trying to kill me. Oh no, I need to find a way out of this courtyard.
That door looks promising. I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. If by death alone I can atone our trespass. Look, I'm not gonna kill you, okay? I just want to figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? Uh, I'm of the chosen people. The Quen? The ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone, the eye that reveals the legacy. The legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. It is in the darkness and the lost places, among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. You know, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alpha, second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we start again? I've never heard of the Quen. Our lands lie across the Great Ocean. We haven't been here before. So why come now? Our homeland has been ravaged by freakish weather. Terrible storms and blistering droughts. The crops are failing. The people are starving. When we looked for answers, it was proposed that if we had the courage to cross the ocean to Legacy's landfall, then we might earn the knowledge we need to save our people. But so far, that knowledge has eluded us. So, your people call this place Legacy's landfall? No. Uh, landfall is where we arrived. To the west, in the shadows of the sunken city by the broken bridge. You mean San Francisco? Yes. You're well versed in the legacy. It was a place of great importance to our ancestors. We had hoped to learn their secrets there, but so far that door remains closed. Even so, the data we discovered there has led us to this place. It might be our last chance. To find something that can save your crops and your people. Yes. If the ancestors will be generous to us once more. So you said your ancestors left your tribe that focus? Yes. Thirteen diviners have possessed this one since it was discovered among the ruins in our homeland. I have their honored names committed to memory. So you have one, but none of the soldiers out there did. We each have a role to play. No, it is the diviners' purpose to seek out the legacy, interpret the wisdom of our ancestors for the good of all, and to keep it safe, so that no one but the diviners know how to use a focus. Not even the Imperial family, and certainly not soldiers. So, how many Diviners are there? At Landfall, a small group. Uh, back at home, a few dozen more. That's a guess. Uh, only the Overseers know for sure, and I am not of their rank. So you call Data from the ancient past the Legacy? Yes. All that is not lost or forbidden. What does that mean? All that we are capable of reading, and that which is permitted. Okay, I'm not sure I get it. That's fine. Um, so what do you use the data for? The greatest secrets are the ones that improve the lives of many. How to tend our crops, how to hold floodwaters back, or even cross the ocean. Technology? That is what I seek here. Technology that can help my people back home. Those soldiers, they opened fire on me without warning. Why? Uh, it is the duty of the Quen to seek out the legacy and defend it from the ignorant and envious. Not that you seem ignorant, but 
Back home, other tribes only mean us harm, and we were told the same was true here. Does that come from your legacy? The legacy is truth. But we have been known to misinterpret it. I hope time and the wisdom of our ancestors will guide us down the correct path. Yeah. I hope so, too. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. Uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. There's a lot of files here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? It's okay. It looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? You can see what is lost. And forbidden. Not lost. Not forbidden. Just a newer format. There. That's where I need to go. Oh, but you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. What about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Let's try with my focus. I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come with you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? This place is a maze. According to the map, there should be another exit for the room. Just stay close. Lead the way. Oh, fire gleam. Better stand back. Should I just wait here? According to the map, the exit should be this way. Like a tomb down here.
yet? They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Fight them, or try to sneak past. Your call. Shock ammo will do much. Machines like you do. Lucky fight. Vent. I think I can pull it open. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
has to be some other way to get into the Maybe we can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here too! But no way to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. Another way to reach those consoles. Data key for this lock. There's nothing for my pole cap to latch on to. things along the walls. can move these things. There we go. Huh. There's some space back there. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly! Hold it there! Let me just... I jumped on top! Hold on. That's good! Jumping over! <sighs> Made it! I'm at the console. Wait! There's data here! A, a lot! But it's blocked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help if I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. Huh? I gotta move this. There should be a power <laughs> cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the I found the, the energy cell. Room. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, that brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way.
Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Okay, you ready? On two. One, two. Commencing adamantine reef vulnerability test scenario, 12C15. That's where we need to go. Magnetic field engaged. Initiating biomass conversion process. What? No, 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 no. How do I shut this thing off? Failsafe exceeded. Test cannot be aborted. What is this? I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log, um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second? Who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. Now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. Most of the data about that is lost, or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The Overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva. I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. 
But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But... Every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. We need to keep moving. Test Station Ivy can't be far off. Let's find a way to get into the Proving Ground. No, I'm not. I, um, spent most of my life in a place far to the east. Oh, we've both traveled a long way, then. Complex should be test station RV. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. It's so still. Yeah. Whoa! We have to find. It's one of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. Yes.
but amazing. Well, you helped. We should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. We shouldn't linger here. There might be more machines. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Oh, that's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. That might be worth a look sometime. This console is still operational. We shall find what we seek. Another log. We're done in every way. The wreaths work, and Kavl came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But... It's too late. The latest projections from U.S. Robot Command have swarm reproduction. Outpacing our ability to drop the shells. By 375%. Not even close. were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! A 
This will be my start. We can use the line to get down. Ah! Uh, right! Easy! Better make haste. Now what? Now, we get to that data core. As I was saying, I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. This new module works. Oh, it's blooming. Let's see if the software works. Files. They're falling apart. Door's clear now. For Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, 
I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. What you said before about... By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. An ancestor reborn. Diviner? We should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. You tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south, and it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Alva says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier.
I just think she talks a lot. You would too, if you knew everything there is to know about everything. Aloy, you've returned. And you come bearing gifts. Does this mean we'll soon be able to uproot the Zeniths from our lands? That's what I'm hoping. Good. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them. Even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? From what I gather, the Old Ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from. Like you've done here, for us. Maybe one day, more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the Land Gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry! Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the Land Gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The Land Gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. The Zenith did a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's... despicable. Have you met Catalo yet? Yes, but... he has kept to himself. Tanakhth don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. Are you serious? Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. 
You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. I should get going. If you need me, you know where to find me. Looks like you got what you wanted. Yeah. It's almost time to go after Hephaestus. Finally. We get to rock and roll. Yeah, at least that's, that's how the old one said it, I think. I see you've got strike set up. Mind if I have a go at it? Really? Uh, sure. Now let's do it. Into the forge we go. Okay, I could do this. Your turn. What should I do? All yours. Let's see. There it goes. You're up. Time to make a move. I'm done. And it's out. And they're gone. My turn. Let's see what you got. Let's see. Off the board they go. I'm done. Well, I could have gone better, but uh, congrats on your win, though. Guess we're done playing. I found out who's running the Sons of Prometheus. A woman named Asera. Oh, no. Remember how Durval had a band of freebooters that retaliated against the Karja? She was one of them. First female tinker in the claim to run her own forge. But when her family got killed in the Red Raids, she went bad. Real bad. I thought she was dead, though. Taken out by one of Murad's guys. Well, she's not. And she wants revenge against the Karja. We have to find out where she's operating from, and stop her. I haven't had any luck finding someone with a focus at Chain Scrape, so I'll be scouting out Baron Light next. I'll keep tracking her lackeys out west. We'll find her. We have to. It's thugs like her who murdered my sister. You should know. Silence is involved with the Sons of Prometheus. He's the one who gave them the override tech to begin with. 
Why doesn't that surprise me? That's probably all part of some master plan, huh? At least we know we're good at wrecking those. Damn straight. I should get going. I say hi to Gaia for me. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter. Okay, data modules in. With the acquisition of Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus, and fortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I know that place. It's near the Desert Clan's capital. We'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, 
Would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Hova said the Quen have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. Aloy, I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. Looks like the old one purposes to send us all kinds of messages back in the day. All over the world, too. Anytime they want it. Aloy. I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. Any progress with your plan for the land gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No. We know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Doe ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay. Tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Doe. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not going to let your people starve, so I promise. Well, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Hephaestus. After that, I'm going to need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. It feels like so long ago now. The 
old ones use holograms for everything. Show me more. Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but... We thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but... I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's... personal. If you have a moment to spare. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So... I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This... Hephaestus... It will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power... Has the world ever seen the like? You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. It must be strange. Seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations and an acceptable training facility. Though it could use some more... color. Do they note it? Anything interesting happen while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh. And where's that? Outside. Above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the Ten fought against machines, much as we do now, but it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaro would have it so as well. Getting Aether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path. For it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the... Knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. They called them seashells. That sounds... kind of gross. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. 
I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman, going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just... looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied to summon her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as self-brush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans, so I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. What do Tanakh do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it, although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically, hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago, that you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light, from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero. And I was content. And why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Route? Takote knew. That if I survived the cool route, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, 
said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself, even though he knew perfectly well I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal, and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Route. Deca, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings, and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom, and the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove, and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. I figured it'd start snowing soon. Hey, look. It's a long way to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Fall's Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice.
I see you, champion. Sit, please. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. A squad of young ones recently returned to Scalding Spear, our main settlement just west of here. Apparently, they lost a soldier to machines during a training mission in No Man's Land. Just goes to show that the wilds can be just as dangerous to the east as they are here. Be careful out there. Will do. Safe travels. Check up on her when I can. Take another look around. See if I can find anything else. The shrine for the land god Do. Hmm. <laughs> Let's take a look. There, up on that ledge. <laughs> I'm up to that land, God. It looks like this one's been here for a while. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the way. But where there's vines, there's a metal flower. I just have to find it. There, the flower. If I can deactivate it, the land god will be free from the vines. I'll have to find a way up there. are gone, but the land god's still trapped. Thank <laughs> you. 
able to access that cave now. Treadwing carcass. It must have dropped the flowers and then crashed. It looks like I can climb up the side of the cliff. Might help me get to that metal flower. Now I just need to get rid of these weapons. get this code installed. You there? I'm here, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred camp at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth, and listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. All right then. I'll get to plain song and deliver the code to the land gods there. I should take one more look around before I go. See if there's anything else interesting. <laughs> <laughs> 